Evernode. Somebody asked me about that. So Evernode is another side chain on the XOPL. It's actually the Zahao or Hooks side chain. It's another smart contract platform. They're a little bit lighter weight. They're like Sorban smart contracts on Hyperledger. So they're not going to be as robust as the EVM side chain. Like if you had multiple if then statements or transactions that had to happen in cadence based on, you know, tr other transactions, you're not going to be able to get that capability with Hooks or Zahal. And Evernode is built out on top of that network. So Evernode is kind of a repository of smart contracts that other people can access and you basically get paid for your contributions there. So if you create some code that other people use inside of their protocol or some other smart contract that they build out, then you get compensated for that over the long term, which I think is a great way to incentivize people to build out code and get paid on that over the long term for their contributions to the network. I know many people that work on, you know, Evernode and have built stuff on that side chain. I think there's a possibility that hooks and that side chain could make its way to the mainnet. So that's been something that's been discussed for a long time where you would bring native smart contract or light smart contract capability to the mainnet on the XRPL. You don't want to cause more frictions or latency or fees, very similar to Ethereum. Like if you get really robust smart contract functionality built into the mainnet, you're, you're going to rehypothecate what happened to ETH. So, you know, again, you, you want it to be like XLM where Soroban smart contracts are kind of like lightweight smart contracts and would allow for, you know, basic smart contract functionality built into the main net. And I think that's what Hooks' goal is. And I do think that it, again, could move to the main net over the long term. It would take an amendment. It would be a big overhaul. That's why they launched it on a side chain first in order to be able to test it and make sure that it was going to work before they migrated it to the main net.